both a bit exciting and hopefully it'll help us with trading in the future <laughs> Callum, Callum's looking at me <laughs> oh, he'll get used to that one day Good morning everyone and welcome back to another Wizzy Welsh eventing vlog a weekly one um so I'm filming this day before because I know that I'm quite unorganized and I'm in a bit of a rush tomorrow so basically I'm in a Land Rover which can only mean one thing me and Sarah are off on a little outing um so tomorrow me and Sezzy are going arena eventing not competitively but um we're gonna hire their course at Radford's and uh, just give her a little pop round she's never she's never really done anything like this before neither have i this is completely new to both of us so uh should be fun and unfortunately i can't tow on my own yet but it does mean that kate gets to come along with me and luckily kate has grandfather right <coughs> sorry kate um so she can come legally and sit next to me with and i have to drive with my l plates on which is a bit embarrassing but i don't want a 1000 pound fine i don't want to lose my license so yeah i'll put, i'll display those l plates until i have to um yes i'm excited to do this it's um something new to us both a bit exciting and hopefully it'll help us with trading in the future <laughs> Callum, Callum's looking at me <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to hook the trailer up and get going. Also, I want to show you a little trick I have found that's been really helpful for me for backing up the trailer and lining up. Because that's the hardest part I find is when I'm on my own is just, like, lining it all up. This sneaky little, sneaky little devil here helps me uh, back it up. Oh, God, I'm right, so... I've parked the trailer, first time. Five hours later. I'm just gonna show you what little bits and bobs I've got in my trailer. So I've got uh, safety ties from Shires on both sides. And then I've got some hay, not hay, not hay, Anna, not hay, straw in the back so that she can get a balance. I only learned that the other day, actually, that that's a good thing to do. Which I, and I've got this nifty little thing that I found very cheap on the internet um, from purely outdoors actually and it's like an awning tent organizer because I just wanted something that you know when you're like at a show or out and about and you're like oh crap I could really do with a hoof pick or I could really do with um, I don't know job clips which is something I used to always forget and for that look just pop it in there if this doesn't scream um, learner I don't know what does <laughs> But I'm a, I'm a law-abiding citizen, and that has got to be displayed on the front and the back. So there it is, in bright yellow for everyone to see. I'm just going to show you a perfect example of how to load. Lovely. Here she is. She's ready for her adventure, aren't you? Mm, I'm going to try arena eventing. Yeah. Oh, it'll be fun. You love cross country. You love cross country. Um, yeah, Sarah's already in her travel gear. She looks like her knight in this rug, though. <laughs> From Ruggles. It's very smart. Yes, are you ready to go? So we, <laughs> so we are here at Radford's. We've just arrived. Excellent. <laughs> here she is. Get you ready. Um, yeah, literally as soon as we got into the arena, you could tell Sarah was on her toes and she was looking at everything As if to say, why on earth are the cross-country fenced in here mum? And I was like, oh yeah, I know it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun um, So yeah, my main goal was just to try and get her warmed up and Listening to me rather than looking at everything else. So did lots of transitions to warm up and um, lots of circles you'll see that throughout the video I'm quite busy with my hands but this is what I feel helps Seren to listen to me and I've got lots of leg on behind so that she 
is coming down with her head and then I can get more control because what she tends to do is she, if she spooks she puts her head right up like she's doing now and then she goes hollow so you can see my reins have got a massive loop in them and I've got nothing so uh, yeah I, you'll just see me working her in she was reluctant to go forward sometimes um, but as soon as we started jumping she was better but again the fences the actual fences were fine it was just the outside of the arena she just was on one Yeah, this is a prime example of what I was getting when I went to that top corner. She was just refusing to go past those plant pots. I tried to introduce her to them, show them her, that they weren't a big deal, but she still was just having none of it the whole time. Um, I think the whole thing just blew her brain completely. And, I, you know, she was just a bit like, what on earth am I doing? But when she was jumping, she was brilliant. Um, I don't want to bore you with all the footage of the napping but at the same time I want to show you how we worked through it. I'd um, just stand in and let her take it all in, taking my feet out of the stirrups, letting her have her reins. I tried walking her past very slowly, I got off, I span her feet so that she was always moving, moving her feet rather than just Good planting. Good girl! I tried everything. I've had a nappy horse before, a penny was so nappy and she just used to plant her feet and not move. And the worst thing you can do is kick and kick and kick and kick. So I just was like, I've got an hour, so I'm just going to make the most of it and just keep jumping around. And we did keep hitting bumps along the road where i jump a fence, i go to the top of it and she'd start napping again. So, you know, it was just one of those. And that you've just got to do what you can, try and distract them and just keep them going. So, yeah, I just kept jumping around and just trying to work through the napping. But it's something we're working on. I've got to remember, she is a green horse, but this is the reality of having a green horse. It's not all tickety-boo, you know, you are going to hit road bumps. And this was one of mine, is that she just blew her head and the napping was just horrendous. But yeah, the jumping was amazing. She jumped everything. So uh, I can't, you know, I can't complain really. Lovely. Good pony you are, good girl. Yeah. Good pony you are. Lovely, good girl, Saren. Yeah, good girl. Four. Good girl, pick yourself up. Up, oh, good girl, Saren.
having a good run and then i was absolutely determined to jump this um brush fence i think it's about 90 and she's fine with it she can jump it i know she can and she just did not like this side of the arena so behind that ditch there is a bit of trees and then there was some farming going on so it's quite noisy and yet laura bless her she walked us through the gap just to try and show her that there's nothing there nothing could kill her <laughs> so this bit i couldn't get it anywhere near that brush fence that i want to jump because she wouldn't go anywhere near the arena fence so this is us just working through it and eventually she did do it then we're having a good round and then she stopped so i put a place and pull out and then this happened <laughs> I think they had dropped something on the farm or something like that because poor Seren thought she'd been shot. So she was a bit reluctant to go back over that hedge fence after all that work I put in to get her over it. But she did do it so I'm really pleased with her and we finished there on a good note. Bye. So that was quite interesting. We, um, well, it's the first time she's seen a real event in. <laughs> she just blew her head from the start didn't you Simon? completely blew your head she just didn't the arena i don't know why i would have thought because she's been here before she would have been okay but apparently she forgot that she was in the same arena she's been in twice before twice before actually because she went and competed and um yeah she decided it was going to kill her she wouldn't go near the sides and uh, the jumps were not a problem she didn't care about the jumps it's just the arena she thought it was going to kill her so um yes interesting treats for the good girl well sort of good girl auntie laura <laughs> come on then monkey right, let's go you. see you later <laughs> Message for camera, Hannah. She's hard work today. She is. 
she's Insane. nothing like a bitch. I know they say keep your own equal. <laughs> Don't mince your words, okay? You. So yeah, today's um outing didn't quite go to plan but for me it wasn't the best day but it wasn't the worst day because you know we jumped the fences and she's not done anything like that before in her entire life i think she kind of thought why the hell are the cross-country fences in the arena this is where i do sensible work and um yeah you could just see that her head was just completely blown so um i'm just gonna put it down as another Another little penny in the experience bank and that's what practicing is all about is to try and get those problems nipped in the bud for when you next got competing and I do plan to do some more hires like that before I even attempt some more com competitions. I mean show jumping I think she's fine um, but it's more like the cross country that I'm going to need to get out and about a bit more. She's really confident and bold when it comes to the actual fences it was just the fact that she was, sorry, just avoiding some puddles. It was just the fact that she, um, the last time she was in that arena, she was at a competition and there was loads of horses around. So she had company, whereas this time she didn't have any company. I think she just kind of thought, oh, I'm on my own and it's quite scary. So yeah, but I'm really, really pleased with her. So um, I'm going arena eventing higher again but a different place this time at Ashwood Equestrian and um, I'm going with Laura this time so I'm hoping to vlog it but we shall see if we've got time and uh, yeah if you enjoyed today's video put a vlog um, give it a little like and subscribe and also uh, follow us on Instagram Wizzy Welsh Eventing thanks for watching <laughs>